So can you speak more about how UBC specified their BIM requirement? You've mentioned sort of that they asked for Revit, but what else was in there? Did they speak to level of detail? Did they, you know? Uh, that's, yeah, that, that's true. When we, we, when we first bid on this job, the requirement was simply Revit. That's all we got. In a way, it was good because, you know, we, we could just give them a Revit file. Uh, but in reality, we didn't, ha we didn't have a clear direction what they want uh, to do with this Revit file. Um, we had meetings since and we understood what their uh, aspirations and where they're heading. So we continued to modify the Revit file as we're moving into construction. Uh, obviously, there's been deviation uh, as uh, there are some field fit um, parts that were done, at the, for example, at the interstitial. Now we're taking that back into the Revit file. So in the end, they're going to get what they asked for. Now, what they're going to do with the Revit, um, that's up to UBC. So there weren't any requirements around the as-building of the model itself? It was just... They said actually Revit and, and CAD as a backup as well, and exported CAD drawings off of the Revit model. So there were no... Yeah. There was no guide um, yeah. that would tell us exactly what, what that model would have, to what level of detail. Yeah. And Charles, did you have conversations with UBC about what was expected kind of on the model that you were producing? Uh, no. Uh, the, the, the requirements really were very uh, loose. In, in fact, the conversation really went more along the lines of, uh, I think, the. The, the, the project manager on UBC side, Nick Mayo, actually used those words. It says, we want to have a taste, a little taste of everything. Show us what you can do, was really what it was. And, and so the team ended up focusing on those things that provided the most immediate benefit to the project in general. So that uh, the, um, you know, we focused mostly, I guess, on, on 3D geometry, clash detection. Uh, LEDCore focused a lot on sequencing and, and trying to use the model to refine costs more tightly. All things that would benefit UBC directly uh, in the immediate. And, um, you know, things that we, we did not focus on, things that would have been more esoteric um, and, and, and not, you know, would, have, would not have been able to benefit UBC directly, like, uh, you know, uh, facilities management kind of integration. Well, there, there was nothing there for us to, you know, base a standard on. So, you know, not all the parts in the building have a skew associated with them in the model. You know, but there is no telling how UBC might have been able to make use of that. 